like to introduce yourself for the people who don't know who you are? Sure, of course. Uh, my name is Omar. Uh, I don't have a tag. That's just my, my name because I don't have a tag like. I guess you could say I'm the local or the resident cloud player. Um, there's other people in the cloud, but apparently I'm the cloud player. Um, I used to be PR, but now I'm lost. So, yeah. <laughs> well, that could don't, all... don't lose to me because it's going to hurt your spot on PR. Since this is your first time uh, doing one of these, I hope you saw the video of the first part, but if you didn't, I'll explain. Um, so October 14th, you know what that is? You know what special occasion that is? Marauder Man, of course, yes. And you're going, you're attending, correct? Of course. Cloud Man, you have to represent. So with these, with this opportunity that the president of Smash Club has presented with me, seven questions to get $5 off venue fee, or at, actually that is the venue fee, so five dollars off, or just the venue fee expedited. But you have to get a perfect record. You have to get a perfect three stock. How many questions? You said? Seven questions. That's seven it. Questions. All you, that's all you got to do. When you say three stocks. Three stocks. That means you got to get. That means you got to get no zero percent JV four oh. on the questions. Yes, yes. Okay. Um, so Javi, this is your first time doing a Smash trivia, right? Your brother. You subbed out for your brother because clearly he is tired and does not want to participate so you get the opportunity to uh, get the five dollars off at Marauder Mayhem which I know you're going on October 14th so no stop you're ridiculous all right Chase you're back again yes. I'm, I'm glad you're back with the suit the handkerchief of course um, you already know how this works so we can skip the charades all right hello hefty lefty how are you doing great today how are you doing in bracket so far? Uh, I'm playing Olimar only. Olimar only? Man, yeah. you would have been perfect for last week's question involving Olimar. Um, are you going to be using Olimar at the Marauder Mayhem? Uh, most likely. Ooh, shoot, that's a... Uh, that's... Maybe not, maybe not like Olimar only, but... Yeah, I figured. Uh, that's uh, next Saturday. I'm, I'm sure you're going. Yeah. Okay, so you do realize uh, if you get all these questions right, you'll be... The only, not only the first one to get a trivia correct, but you'll get five dollars off your venue. Okay. So um, let's let's uh, not waste any more time here. Seven questions. Uh, they range from easy to hard, and you know they are different questions this time than last week. So here's the first question. Who are the the two Fire Emblem characters that do not have a counter. Robin and... Oh man. Who is the other one? Oh, Violet. Yeah. 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 I'm going to say... Violet and... Robin. Robin. And Violet. Violet and... Oh. Violet and... Mm -mm -mm. On the first question, though? Uh, Robin. Robin. <sighs> wow. Robin. Robin. Final answer? Robin and Violet. Okay. Yes. Question two. Who is the only character to have four meteor spikes? What's a meteor spike? <sighs> oh my god, you're so young. Okay. Four spikes. That's a good guess. That's a good guess. A meteor spike is literally like uh, like Captain Falcon has a down air, spikes you to the blast zone. Yes, there's a character that can do four of those. 
And it's not Captain Falcon since I just said his name. So. I'll let you know the answer at the end. Who is the only character uh, to have four meteor spikes? Okay. Quick answer, quick answer, I like that. All right, last easy question. All right. Uh, what is the exact date that Smash Ultimate was released? Oh shit, uh... February 10th, 2018. Well, I know it came out in 2019. The year. The exact date? Probably would have been like... December? Month, date, year? Somewhere in December or January. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say like December the 17th of 2019. I know it's not right, but it's my best guess. Uh, you got me, I don't know this one. Well, you can throw out a date and throw out a date. you at least can break it down. You know when it came out. You know what, what year it came out. Okay, so now you got two more. Uh, December 7th, 2015. Wow. Great. Now it's on to question four. Are you ready for the hard ones now? Yeah. Okay. Smash 64, right? What? Every character has a stage except for these two characters based off of their franchise. You can name the character or you can name the video game series, doesn't matter. Not that many. I'm gonna go. Okay, I'm gonna go Captain Falcon and this. Wow. All that time. Alright, question five. Now, there's no way you're gonna get this one, so say the prize goodbye, okay? You ready to say, say bye bye to the camera? Bye bye. You're not gonna get this one. Bye bye. All right, Ryo Horikawa is famously known as a Japanese voice actor for Dragon Ball Z for playing Vegeta, but he also yes. plays a character in Smash Brothers. I Who is know, that character? I know this, and I don't remember what it is. That sucks, because I remember I saw it in like a YouTube Shorts video once. I'm just gonna say Captain Falcon. I doubt it's right, but that's my guess. Now this one, again, we got another Captain Falcon question for you. You trash! You garbage! You sorry! Oh, if I get this one wrong. Um... You know what? I just gave you the answer. Because I didn't mean to say it. <laughs> wow. Amazing. Japanese Vegeta. Japanese Vegeta, yeah. 
that's, <laughs> that's, a, that's a good guess. Interesting guess. Okay, so uh, it's question six. We've got one more after this. Question six. Who is the only person to win back-to-back -back combo breakers in Ultimate and Smash 4, respectively? Isaiah, this has the only one. No, Smash 4. Smash 4 and Ultimate, you said oh, Isaiah. Combo breaker was a tournament. Yeah, combo breaker is the name That's of the tournament. Back-to-back -back combo breakers in Smash 4 and Ultimate. Good guess. Good guess. Zero. What the heck is combo? Combo Breaker is the name of the tournament. Yes, he won the the Combo Breaker in Smash 4 and then he won the next year when Ultimate had theirs. Mars. That's funny. Back to back. Let me go on bad to bad. Final answer? Yeah. Okay, okay. This is gonna be, I know this is the one nobody's gonna really know. Oh, yeah. Alright, last question. What does the MK and MK Leo stand for? Oh my god. Uh. <laughs> okay, Leo stand for Well, appreciate. Thanks for playing. Um, I'm gonna go yellow, yellow lit Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Mortal Kombat Leo, and he's playing Smash. But that's gonna be my answer. I like that answer. All right, last question. Speaking of Leo, the last question is: What does the MK and MK Leo stand for? Final answer? Yeah, Magic Kingdom. I know it's the name of his uh, parents' car shop. Hmm, okay, okay. Uh, well, congratulations. Uh, you got really, really close. Would you like to know the answers and how many you got right? Yeah. <laughs> you got three right, you know, that's, that's more than, that's more than, um, Say three and a half. Right? Three, uh, yeah, three and a half. That, yeah, that's that's more than a money maker. So you I know? get three and a half. Dollars. Three and a half. You got three. Ooh, you know what? You get three and a half off of redemption. How about that? Redemption. Three and a half. <laughs>